Okay, people. Six squared divided by two, parentheses, three, close parentheses, plus four, does not equal ten. That's not the answer. I know a lot of people come to that. It's not the answer. The answer is 58. I'm wearing glasses. You have to trust a man with glasses. I think we all know to use the order of operations to find the, the answer to this problem. A lot of people remember the order of operations with the acronym. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sal. Parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So approaching a problem, you want to get rid of your parentheses, you want to get rid of your exponents, then you want to do your multiplication, right? Wrong. When you get to the multiplication and division part, it's multiplication and or division. Depending on which one you come to, working the problem from left to right. It's in the order as they appear in the problem, from left to right. Well, same way with addition and subtraction. It's addition and or subtraction as you reach them in the problem, working it from left to right. So getting right to the solution of the problem. Let's get rid of the parentheses. In this problem, there's a three inside the parentheses. There's no other operators. There's no addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. Since the parentheses are next to another variable or integer, the parentheses represent multiplication. So in order to get rid of those parentheses, we can substitute those parentheses by putting times three. So now we read six squared divided by two times three plus four. Next order of operations will be exponent. The exponent we have here is six squared. 6 times 6 is 36. So now we have 36 divided by 2 times 3 plus 4. Now we've reached that crucial part, the multiplication and or division. A lot of you are reaching an answer of 10 or making a mistake in this part of the problem. In this situation, we work the division first because that's what we, that's what we come to first working from left to right. So 36 divided by 2 is 18. So now we have 18 times 3 plus 4. So... We take 18 times 3. We're working the multiplication now. 18 times 3 is 54, which leaves us with 54 plus 4, which we know equals 58. So let me rewind back just for a second to how people are reaching the incorrect answer of 10. They're taking 36 divided by 2 times 3 plus 4. If you follow the acronym and did the multiplication and then the division, you would have 2 times 3 is 6. Then you'd go back to the beginning of the problem and you'd say 36 divided by 6, which equals 6, plus 4 would equal 10. That's incorrect because you're doing the multiplication first and you're skipping over the division. You don't do that. You work from left to right. So it's 36 divided by 2, which is 18 times 3, which is 54. 54 plus 4 equals 58. Running into a problem like this is a perfect example if you don't understand that little nuance in the order of operations. And if you follow the acronym and do multiplication before division, you can end up with the wrong answer. Just remember that. It's multiplication and or division, whichever one you come to first. Same way it's addition and or subtraction. They're interchangeable. So hopefully if you run into that problem or any of the other viral problems on the internet, you know how to work it correctly so that when people are writing all kinds of crazy answers like twos and sixes and zeros and all this stuff, you know for a fact that you have the right answer. So thanks for watching The Genius Insomniac. Bruce, the coolest nerd you know. I'm thinking I might wear glasses next time. Because everyone trusts a guy with glasses.